said he's going to count him out, isn't he? After one minute and 39 seconds of round 10, it was all over. Là, je compte non pas 8, 9, 10, finish. He's going to count him out. The experts were unanimous in their verdict. He's going to count him out. He's quit, mate. He's quit. He's done him. He's quit. He's won the fight. He's punched the life right out of Jim McClellan, the most dangerous man on the planet. We were looking at a fighter who had decided to go onto one knee and not carry on with the battle. That suggests that he's decided to quit. Knowing my brother, he would have never quit. The chin could still take the punches, but the heart could not. There wasn't an ounce of energy left in him. How can anybody say that he quit? That's shocking. It almost makes me want to cry, that. Honestly. I can't regret what I've said because you're dealing with split seconds. You're dealing with the atmosphere, the excitement. A fight that you want your homeboy to win, it looks like he's losing, and he turns it all around and wins the fight. Ian. And the next word out of his mouth was, Donnie, get the stool. Donnie, get the stool. And before Donnie could get the stool, Gerald sat on the apron of the rope. And I squirted water on the top of his head, and he looked up at me and said, man, that water you squirted on my head feel like that shit running inside of my head. All the way, mate, all the way. We're going to wrap this interview because we have a serious problem in the ring with Gerald McClellan. They got a leg brace on him, they got oxygen on him. What could be wrong? They got everything on him. I don't know what happened to Gerald, but he quit on his knee. There were three board doctors. All of them had to have an aesthetic experience. I was satisfied that that injured boxer had had the best possible care from us. Two ambulances were on standby at ringside. Both would be required. As he made his way to the dressing room, Nigel Benn collapsed. Keep to the side, because this is ambulance access. Okay. 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 Tonight, McClellan remains unconscious in hospital on a diet of painkillers and good wishes. Mr. Benn has been checked over thoroughly and discharged and appears to be well. I'm always worried about anyone that gets injured. We want to find out what the injury is. The most important thing is the man's health. The brain is quite swollen. That's how we would expect a brain to look, really, after it's been punched for 11 rounds. You guys wait. You guys have to wait, all right? Too many you that. wait for now. There's too many people in there. Had he continued to fight, you know, it may have been fatal with this blood clot in his brain. But that's God. When God steps into the plan, he'll make a way when there is no way. It's a small clot, but it will end his fighting career, and it will kill him if it's not taken out. So I'm very prayerful and hopeful and cautiously optimistic that Gerald will be all right. If you'll excuse me. Thanks very much. Good luck, guys. He's completely blind. Hey, listen.
What color you want? What color popsicle you want? He's not dead. Mm -hmm. What color popsicle do you want? Green. Great. It's okay. more comprehension. So if he's asking to repeat things, it's not because he can't hear it. It's because he don't necessarily understand it the first time. Yeah. And this? Yes. This? Yes. Why? Right here. You know. Talking. Right. Talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six weeks after the fight, Gerald McClellan returned to the United States. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. A couple weeks. Co-promoter Frank Warren has said the McClellan family brought Gerald home against the wishes of Surgeon John Sutcliffe. Do you have your concerns that Gerald McClellan was taken home too soon? I suppose the answer must be yes, because the outcome wasn't good. I disagree. There was no reason why, medically, he had to stay in England. Every single thing that he was given in the hospital, he was given on the flight over. I'm behind you, Gerald. Stand up straight, yes. Right here. Yeah. Come on, stand up straight. He received insurance payments, but Gerald McClellan's earnings were soon eaten up. I'm right behind you, Gerald. In that chair. Twenty years ago, he spent his first major paycheck on the house where he still lives today. Stand up straight, Gerald. Whatever he so chooses to do, he can rest assured that I'll be by his side to try to help him to do that. Yeah. Don King paid McClellan $250,000 for the fight and training costs. Saturday. Come on. Yep. July Come on. Come on. In addition, he and co-promoter Frank Warren estimate they paid the McClellan family more than half a million dollars they were not contractually obliged to for medical, travel, and other expenses. Gerald McClellan's defeat did not damage Don King's influence in the super middleweight division. King had already signed a deal to co-promote. Now you might start believing in the Dark Destroyer. Nigel Benn. Made a believer out of me. Nigel Benn proved to the world today he got a lot of hearts, a lot of Keones. He fought his behind off. Well, Don King had done a deal with Nigel Benn. Don King walks in with a champion, walks out with a champion. Let's unify another WBA title, and then okay. you got two, and Roy has one, okay. and then we go for Roy. Only in America. Absolutely. Great, great fight, man. It did feel like yesterday that I was shouting at Don King. Really brought him over here to bash me up, mate. I never forget that. And then he said. You made a believer out of me. You made a believer out of me. Nigel Benn made Mallorca his home after boxing. Benn's career concluded with five lucrative fights, enabling his family to have the lifestyle he promised. This guy can run for the head of government now. That was his defining fight, and it's a fight we should be celebrating and talking about from now until eternity, but uh, unfortunately, we don't want to. It's been hidden, but it's a great sport and achievement. I think it beats any British fighters. However, Nigel Benn's defining victory has been called into question. <coughs> In 2010, Gerald McClellan's coach claimed to have evidence that Ben had used performance-enhancing drugs. Do you want the story, man, or you don't? Ben vehemently denies the allegations. They said, we found blood on McClellan's boo that had uh, um, steroids in it. Hey! <laughs> and my heart, it started pounding. Where that fear come from? I'm, I'm not doing no drugs. I've never done drugs. And, and while well, I'm training, if you say recreational drug, I'll say, hey, I put my hand up. If you say, I have a split, or if you say, I've had ecstasy, I put my hands up. Hey, I'm not, I'm not gonna try and cover anything up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I 
couldn't do that. I couldn't go in a go in a ring and, and, and um, knowing that I've taken steroids because then I know I would have been a cheat. I've been a cheat. I'm a wife. I've been a liar. I've been a thief. I've been everything, but I've never ever taken any anabolic steroids while I've been boxing. Did Nigel Ben cheat for that fight? Absolutely. He was juicy as a. I promise you, because the blood in the shoe is not just being blood, because girl didn't drop a drop. Nowhere, never. Now it's being bled from the eye in the nose. Punch me, he put it on him. You was juiced on something, buddy. I don't know why anyone would say anything like that. Obviously, Gerald McClellan was taken straight to hospital, he wouldn't have been drunk tested, but Nigel Ben would have been. In fact, Ben did not take a drug test, following his collapse on the way to the dressing room. You look like you was a man of excellent shape and condition who just fought a tough fight, but you go back to your fucking dressing room and you pass out. You know why you pass out? Because you didn't want to piss for him. You fainted on the way out of the ring. Exhaustion. What do you think? What do you think? It would have been ex it would have been exhaustion. Nothing else but that. But that. There is no evidence that Ben's collapse was caused by anything other than exhaustion. It's not clear why Johnson waited 15 years to make the allegations, or whether the boot is in any condition to be tested. What would you say to those who said Nigel might have dodged that drug test? Come on, Layla. To try and. Dodge a drug test is just not who I am. Layla, I want to talk about it because I think it would ruin who, who I am as a sportsman. If you know that I took uh, um, anabolic steroids and brought them into the ring. Come on, Layla. I can look you in the eye and say, look, steroids never in my body when I fought Jerry McLennan. It's just not who I am. It's almost my birthday. Mm -hmm. July what? July what? Filming was almost finished in Freeport, but yep. Lisa McClellan had yep. one final issue to confront. When I got a problem, I address the problem. I don't want to cover it up. I want to deal with it, get it over with. But this is something that I've never wanted to do. I have never witnessed any of the dog fights, but I will say, yes, they happened. We've gotten death threats saying he should have died, the way he tormented the animals. I think a lot of people exaggerated the story. Oh, be damn, son. But I would ask for forgiveness on Gerald's behalf. I always felt if I don't admit to it, then we're not guilty. But guilt is guilt. The truth is the truth, and a lie will live on forever. It's easy. Yeah. Yes. Squeeze it. Squeeze that. When I talk to a former parent, right? And any parent, right? You call it Henry. At least I almost shed tears. It's bittersweet because boxing gave Gerald the opportunity to live a life that he wouldn't have if it weren't for boxing. But at the same time, it took the life that he had before boxing. But I still love it, and so does he. Thank you very much. We are just about to continue. Five weeks after Ben fought McClellan, Parliament debated a motion calling for the abolition of professional boxing. It was resoundingly defeated. Boxing will commence immediately. You have returned to your seats. Thank you. I spent years defending boxing, but I've stopped doing it. What I do now is uh, I defend a person's right to box if he wants. Boxing has done a lot for a lot of people, and for those there to touch, this is an illustration of the love and and the outpouring of care that is concerned with one of our soldiers of Holland. They were part of promoting this fight to the end, enthralling big punches, bangers, knockouts.